So today's practice in particular, we'll be focusing on how to live from a place of trust. So trusting yourself, trusting that you will know the way to the life that you want to lead. Well, sometimes we're riddled with doubts about who we are and what we can offer. And so today we're really going to be focusing on building a sense of groundedness, tapping into our inner strength and yeah, coming from a place of safety and security so you feel safe enough to take risks. So with that in mind, let's start in a comfortable seated position. You can have either leg in front or you can sit on a cushion or a block if you want to sit a little bit higher. Rest the hands on the legs, closing down the eyes. Feeling the heaviness of the hips grounding down into the earth beneath you and the crown of the head reaching up, right up, up beyond your house into the space above. Allow the face to be soft and the shoulders to be soft. You might notice a little bit of sensation at the tip of the nose as you inhale and as you exhale. Just slightly scanning the body with the mind's eye and just noticing if there's any holding that's happening. It might just be very subtle. Sometimes the hips, the shoulders, Trying to let go of any holding that doesn't need to be there. Knowing that in this moment you are safe. Just another few moments here. Let's continue to follow the breath. And then let's uh, let that go, opening the eyes. And then starting to make your way up to standing. If you have got a block, please make sure that you've got a block handy. Coming to the top of the mat, let's bring the feet so they're hip distance apart and parallel, really grounding down through the feet. So feel the feet anchoring down and then draw the energy up the legs, gently drawing the belly button in, crown of the head lengthening up. Have a sense of the tailbone just dropping down. So try not to have a rigid held posture. So think about it being lengthening, but soft at the same time. Let's reach the arms up, take an inhale, palms, the hands come together, and then exhale, draw the hands down through the center line. And we'll just do that two more times. Just arms ground down through the feet as you reach up, inhale, looking towards the thumbs and then exhale, draw the hands down. And we'll do that again. Take an inhale, reach up. And then exhale, draw the hands down. One more time, inhale, palms, the hands come together. As you exhale, soften through the knees, bring the hands onto the thighs and drop the shoulders away from the ears. So feel the spine long here. Draw the belly button in. Taking an inhale, we're going to take a cat cow. As you exhale, C curve the spine, tucking the chin in, curling the tailbone under. And then inhale to lift the tailbone up towards the ceiling, open through the shoulders, lifting through the eyes. And then exhale, C curving the spine, drawing the belly button in. And then inhale to go the other way. And then exhale. Can you have a sense of your feet continue to ground down as you work with the upper body? And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. 
Inhaling, just back to neutral, press down through the feet, reach up through the arms. And then as you exhale, soften all the way forward into your Uttanasana. Feel free to bend the knees here if you need to. And option to take hold of the elbows or just pop your hands on a block if you want a little bit more height. Or even just onto the shin bones. Feeling the weight of the skull. If there's space and you can, start to draw those kneecaps up and then shift the weight slightly forward onto the balls of the feet. Keep drawing the belly button in now. Feeling into the feet. Particularly the base of the big toe, the little toe and the centre of the heel. Just another two breaths here. Try to lift the shoulders very gently away from the ears. And then on the next exhale, release the hands down, bend through the knees, sweep the arms up into your Utkatasana, take an inhale as you exhale, sit down a little bit deeper. And then we're going to press through the feet to reach the arms up, inhale, and then exhale, letting the arms just fall open, lifting the sternum up towards the ceiling as the tailbone drops down. And then we're going to spinal roll down, so let the chin drop down, soften through the knees, let the head be the first thing to come down, and then inhale, halfway lift, straighten the legs if you can, Exhale, fold down. And then from here, bend the knees, sweep the arms up into your Utkatasana. Inhale, lift through the sternum. Exhale, sit down nice and low. And then press through the feet to reach the arms up. Inhale, exhale, drop the tailbone down as you lift the sternum up towards the sky. Feel into the feet. And then spinal roll down, dropping the chin. Soften through the knees. Inhale into your halfway lift. Hands can stay down or they can come to the shin bones. Exhale, fold, bend through the knees even deeper to reach the arms up into your Utkatasana. Inhale, exhale, sit down a bit deeper and then inhale, press down through the feet to reach up. Exhale, lifting through the heart, opening through the arms and spinal roll. Just last one. Rolling all the way down. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, inhale into your Utkatasana. We're going to hold it here. Bring the palms and hands together and bring the hands in front of the chest for now. Sit down a little bit deeper if you can. Steady gaze with the eyes. Can you sit down a little bit deeper and shift the weight slightly back into the heels? Feel the strength in the legs. They're holding you here. Can you come a little bit deeper for these last few breaths? Shift the weight slightly back. Take one more inhale, let's reach the arms up. Exhale, sit down to your deepest depth and then folding forward Uttanasana. And just a big sigh of relief there. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, just plant the hands down, step back into your down facing dog. Finding your down facing dog, hands shoulder distance apart, feet hip distance apart. And you might want to pedal out through the feet, just lifting one heel and the other. Noticing all ten toes, pressing down into the mat. And then lowering the heels back down. Take an inhale to come forward into your plank. Reach the crown of the head forward. Reach the heels back. Can you press the backs of the thighs up towards the ceiling? Make sure that the hips are not hanging down here. So try to lift, the, lift up through the belly. Take one more inhale. Exhale back into your down facing dog. Inhale to come forward into your plank position again. Exhale back, down dog. Inhale forward into your plank. And then exhale. 
down dog and again inhale and exhale and last one inhaling bring the knees down let's just lower down halfway hold it here for a moment squeeze those elbows in and then lower yourself all the way down release the toes open the hands out wide taking an inhale up into your cobra relax the shoulders away from the ears reach the tailbone in between the feet take one more inhale exhale rolling down hands underneath the shoulders tuck the toes under press back into your down dog just taking five full breaths here Trying to draw the kneecaps up if you feel the space. Actively pressing down through the palms, the hands. Take an inhale to reach the left leg up towards the ceiling, squeezing that left glute into your three-legged dog. Exhale, bringing the knee to the chest, step it forward in between the hands, place the right heel down, and then coming up to standing. Straighten both legs, so shoulders over the hips. Inhale here. Exhale over into your Trikonasana. So you might want to use a block here, if that works for you. You can pop a block down, or shin Hand to the inside of that shin bone. Reach out through both hands. And then once again, take the focus to your feet. Feel how they ground down. And then you can draw the energy up the legs to support you. Just one more breath here. And then bend into the left leg as you come back up to standing and then step that right foot out a little bit further. So you're coming into a wider stance for your Virabhadrasana 2 or Warrior 2. Shoulders over the hips, lengthening out through the fingertips. Feel the strength in this pose. Can you bend a little bit deep into that front leg whilst pressing down through the outside edge of that right foot? And trusting in this moment that you can do this. And taking an inhale to strain that our uh, left leg, both feet to parallel, bring both hands to the waist for a moment and then just walk the heels and toes in. So just a slightly shorter stance and then turn the feet out. Extend the arms out, take an inhale, palms the hands together, exhale, coming down into a nice deep squat, so into your goddess position. Knees tracking towards the toes. We're gonna move through that two more times. Inhale, reach it up, exhale. Draw the hands down through the center line. One more time to hold it down there. Inhale and then exhale, drawing the hands down. Soften the floating ribs in. Drop that tailbone down. And once again, find your breath. Feeling that power being activated through the legs. And that increase in the heart rate. Can you use the breath to meet the rising sensations in the body? Three more full breaths.
Take one more inhale. Stay for the exhale. See if you can come down just a little bit deeper and then inhale to straighten the legs. Bring the hands to the waist. Turn the feet to parallel. And then from here, take an inhale to lengthen up. Exhale, folding forward. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, lengthening out. This is somewhere you might want to use your block. If you can, keep walking the hands back in between the feet and then relax the head down towards the mat. Try to squeeze those elbows in so they just stay shoulder distance apart. Try not to hang in the backs of the knees. So shift the weight forward onto the balls of the feet. Keep drawing the kneecaps up. And then inhale to walk the hands back out. Rotate around towards this front leg. Tuck the back toes under, stepping back into your down facing dog. Inhale to come forward into your plank. Exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet. Drop the heels down, spinal roll up. Inhaling. Exhale, spinal roll back out into your plank position. Fine plank, we're just gonna hold it here. Option to take that right leg off, holding for five full breaths. Keep pressing the back of the left thigh up towards the ceiling or both legs if you've got both feet down. Keep breathing for three, two, and one. Place that right foot down, press back into your down facing dog and take a breath here. Take an inhale to reach the right leg up to your three-legged dog. Exhale, bringing the knee in towards the chest and stepping it forward in between the hands. Place the left heel down, coming up to standing, shoulders over the hips, reach the fingertips out. Take an inhale, exhaling over into your trikonasana. Try to bring that right shoulder forward. Imagine lengthening out through both sides of the waist equally. Can you feel into your feet? Feeling connected to the ground and to the earth. And then let's come out of it by bending into that right leg. So we're shifting straight into our warrior two and then step that back foot out a little bit wider so coming to a longer stance for your warrior two press down through the outside edge of that left foot and then turn the head to look over towards the right middle finger if you've got space try to bend a little bit deep into that front leg And in this moment, you're using your physical strength and then drawing on your inner strength and mental capacity to stay here. Two more full breaths. And then straighten that front leg, rotate it to parallel, bring the hands to the waist. Once again, just heel toe the legs in a little bit closer and then turn the feet out once again. <coughs> Reach the arms up, inhale, palms, the hands come together. Exhale, coming down into your goddess pose. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale. Nice deep bend. One more time, inhaling. Imagine the back is sliding down a wall, so keeping those shoulders over the hips as much as you can. Can you bend a little bit deeper? Press the knees back. Finding the breath. Trusting that you've got this. You can stay here. For one, five more full breaths. If 
if you've got any space, come down a bit deeper for the last two breaths. And then let's inhale and reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the waist. Rotate the feet to parallel. Taking an inhale, lengthen out. And then exhale, folding forward into your Prasarita Padottanasana. Taking another inhale to lengthen out. Exhale, walking the hands in between the feet, letting the head relax down. Squeeze those elbows in. Draw the kneecaps up. Continue to feel into the feet. Press down through the outside edges of the feet if you can. And then let's walk the hands back out underneath the shoulders. Rotate towards the front of the mat. Bend into that right leg. Step back into your down facing dog. Take an inhale to come forward into your plank. Exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet. Drop the heels down, spinal roll up, inhaling. And then exhale, spinal roll back down, walking your hands out into your plank position. We're gonna hold it here for five breaths. Option to lift that left leg off. Try to straighten the right leg as much as you can. Energy out through the crown. For three, two, one. Place the left foot down. Press back into your down facing dog. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Just one more time like that. Deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Take an inhale to extend that left leg up towards the ceiling and then exhale, bring the knee in towards the nose, stepping that left foot forward. Plant the right heel down and come up to standing. Straighten both legs. So we're coming into Trikonasana once again. Take an inhale, exhaling over into your Trikonasana, reaching that right hand up. So we're not going to hold it here this time. Just take one full breath here. And then bend into the left leg Come into your warrior two, reaching those arms out, bend through the front leg. Bring the right hand to the waist, so we're going to shift into our half moon. So starting to shift the weight into that left leg, you might want to use your block here. Pop the block to the top hand corner of your mat, a little bit further in front of that left foot. Extend the right leg up, steady gaze with the eyes. Try to lift the right leg up, level with the torso if you can and then energy out through the crown of the head and you might extend that right arm up towards the ceiling. And there's an option here if you want to start to lift away from the floor you might lift the fingertips onto the block onto the floor or you might even just release the block, release the floor. Hand can come to the chest or to the heart. Keep breathing, keep lifting that back leg Take one more inhale and then exhale. Bring the right hand back to the waist. Bend through the left leg and reach the right heel down. So you're coming back to your warrior two position. Taking an inhale, exhale back into your reverse warrior. Take one more inhale and then exhale. Cartwheel the hands down. Stepping back into your down facing dog. Just taking a breath here. Taking an inhale to reach that right leg up. Exhale, bringing the knee to the chest, stepping it forward. Plant the left heel down. Coming up to standing. Inhale, lengthen out through both sides of the waist. And as you exhale, keep lengthening out through the waist as you come into your Trikonasana. One breath. And then bend into that right leg, come into your warrior two just for a moment and then place the left hand onto the waist reaching down for your block or onto the mat shifting the weight 
into that right leg. Try to lift that left leg up, keep flexing that left foot, draw the navel in. That left arm might go up towards the ceiling. And then if you feel like you can, starting to lift away from the floor with the right hand. Don't worry if you do fall out of it, that's part of the practice. Trusting yourself here. Take one more inhale. Then bring that right hand back down, left hand to the waist, soften through the right knee. Step back into your warrior two. Inhale, exhale back into your reverse warrior. Take one more inhale, exhale to cartwheel the hands down. Step back into your down facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Let's come back to breathing in and out through the nose. Coming down onto the knees and knees, open wide, big toes together. Just resting in your child's pose, rest the forehead down. Allow the hips to be heavy. Noticing how the breath will just naturally start to slow down. Just another few breaths here. Let's extend the arms away long and then walk the hands over towards the right hand side. Stack the left hand on top, reach the left hip down to opening up, particularly for that left side waist, even though the right side waist is still lengthening as well. And then let's take an inhale back through centre, crossing over to the left hand side, stack the right hand on top and then reach the right sitting bone down. the hands back through centre. Just reach the hands forward one more time. Notice if any more space is open which allows you to move a bit deeper now that we've opened up through both sides. And then walk the hands back up. Let's coming up to seated, sitting over to one side. And then make your way onto your back. Just bending the knees up. So feet hip distance apart and parallel. Take an inhale and then exhale. Lifting the hips up, reach the tailbone in between the knees and then option to interlace the fingers, tucking the shoulders underneath you, pressing down through the arms. I'm trying to lift the sternum towards towards the head, so towards the back of your mat. Take one more inhale, try to lift the hips up a little bit higher and then exhale, roll all the way back down. So for, the ne for this next one, you might want to use your block or you could just repeat what we just did. But if you'd like to have your block handy, roll back up and then pop the block. Either you could have it just lengthways like this, popping it underneath your, your pelvis or your sacrum, the flat part of the pelvis, so you feel really supported here. Or if you want to go up a little bit higher, you might want to take it up onto its highest point, if that feels comfortable for your back. Open the arms up, palms facing up, closing the eyes.
just feeling into the into the hips here trying to let go with each exhale And for this next part, everyone pressing down through the feet to lift the hips up. We're going to take the block to its flattest point. We're still going to lay down onto the block with the pelvis, or the sacrum. And then if it feels comfortable, extend both legs long, letting the feet fall away from one another. Continue to close the eyes. And trusting that you can let go here. Just another few breaths. Let's bend the knees back up, feet flat on the mat, press down through the feet to lift the hips up and just shift the block so it's out of the way, rolling all the way back down onto your back, hugging the knees in towards the chest. You can interlace the fingers or take hold of your forearms. Kind of draw the knees in as you reach the tailbone back down, so trying to lengthen out through the lower back. And then release the legs so they're up at 90. I'm going to drop the knees over towards the right hand side. You might want to shift the hips slightly back towards the center so the hips stay in line with the, the, uh, the spine. And then open that left arm out, turning the head to look over the left shoulder, closing the eyes, allowing the left shoulder to be heavy and anchor back down without creating any extra tension that's not needed. And then inhale, bringing the legs back up through center. You shift the hips over slightly towards the right, dropping the knees over towards the left, opening that right arm up. Turning the head to look over the right shoulder. And staying with the breath. Inhale, bring the legs back through center, place the feet down, just make sure the hips are in the center, in line with the spine. Extend both legs long, coming into your Shavasana. Open the arms out, palms facing up. Close the eyes. As you exhale, feel the face soften and the forehead smoothing out, releasing the little muscles around the eyes, releasing the jaw and softening the back of the throat and having a sense of the whole body completely relaxed and completely letting go. Knowing that the ground underneath you will carry you. And 
and you can trust this moment. And trust in yourself and trust in your body. And as you move throughout your day or your evening, moving from a space of feeling safe and secure Just continuing to follow the breath in and out through the nose, just for a little bit longer. And then allowing yourself to come to complete rest for the next few minutes. Feeling free to stay here for as long as you need to. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.